were beating you inside, recognizing your mismatch, uh, you took advantage of it. What do you want to say about the way your teammates got you the ball and how you were able to score and play like that? Um, nah, it's uh. It's always easy when you got teammates, you know, uh, put you in good positions to uh, be able to be successful and the coach as well. Um, you know, I think that's just what happened tonight. They just kept putting me in good positions to um, beat me, be successful. Um, and I think that's all it is to it. So I want to ask you about Dre. You got a hit coach yesterday, scoring a couple triggers. What do you think of him having it? How much does it help a guy like you when he's playing like that? Um, I think it's great for him, just uh, knowing his career and the route he took and everything he's been through. Just seeing him do this day in and day out, even in practice, is good. So I'm happy for him. Guys, how much does a week off help? And, and how banged up were you last week? And how much does a week off allow you to rest your body and recover? And how much better do you feel? Uh, I think it was good for us just to be able to um, you know, get some time off to uh, be able to recover. Um, and hit this last uh, little stretch. Um, and also just uh, work on us, uh, clean up some stuff, and um, continue to um, get better each day. Oh, uh, yeah, like you said, it was good to um, recover, get our bodies back, get our legs back under us, and sharpen up what we need to sharpen up and practice day by day. Um, it just shows how they battle against each other in practice every day, and it just prepares them for nights like this. When one is off, the other one comes in, and there's not a drop off. Dre, anything uh, that you've changed this year in your routine that's led to this consistency for you? Any differences in the way you've approached it, or is it just kind of figured out? Um, no, nah, it's no change, nothing different. Um, I think it's uh, just being put in the right position around great people. Um, you know, you got a team like this that, uh, you know, we got guys that can go from, you know, starting five, even off the bench, anybody comes on. Um, I think about a bunch of dogs, a bunch of killers. It just makes it easy to play with. And, uh, you know, like I said, you be successful in this type of environment. You've got a couple double-doubles here. Uh, what's, the, what's the key for a guy like you to get that many rebounds? And you're going against a lot bigger guys inside. Uh, I'm kind of just putting more emphasis on it in my mind, just trying to go help rebound. Uh, you know, JB does a you know, great job of rebounding. Um, so is Kadari. Um, I just try to, you know, get in there, help out as much as possible. Try to go get some of them on my own. Kadari, you know, you missed those couple games, and now you've had two games back. What, what percent out of 100 when you put yourself out physically? And, you know, are you looking forward for the rest of the season, feeling good for you? Um, I'll say. Um, He's fine. He's fine. You're fine. I'm fine. Percentage? 100%. 100. <laughs> I want to ask you about uh, Al's defense. He was given a tough assignment on absolute Friday. You guys pretty bad down there. Uh, you played well against him. What, what do you think of the way he defended, and what's it like having Al, when Al defends the perimeter like that? Um, I feel like that's good for us because we see him dogging the basketball and getting after it and knowing that that's one of their leaders on the other end, and he's making him uncomfortable. So I feel like it trickles down from uh, the point guard all the way down to the center spot. So I feel like that's a good thing for us.